Okay, so this is another complication that remember that the income tax code for individual taxes is typically a cash based system. You get the deduction, in other words, when you pay it, which is simple, it's easy to audit, it's easy to track, however, also easy to manipulate, which is why when we talk about like businesses, they're required to use an accrual system and they're held to that accrual system with an audit, right? That's what we do for corporations. We can't basically have an audit of every individual's taxes. Therefore, we wanna keep it simple, cash-based system, and then the IRS might randomly audit people, which they can then follow the money fairly easily. However, people will come up with plans then to distort when they're gonna to try to get the deduction, meaning, I would rather have the deduction sooner rather than later in general. And some years I might have more income than other years, which because of the progressive tax system will result in higher tax rates. So if in this year I have a higher tax rate than I think I'm gonna have next year because I earned more money, I might be looking for more deductions this year. One of the bright ideas I might come up with is that, hey, look, why don't I just say to my mortgage company, I'm going to pay you all of the interest on the loan up front, and then I'm going to pay the principal later. Is that okay? Well, it would be okay with the bank if they were if they were allowed to do that, maybe, because that might mean they get an upfront payment sooner. But the IRS is going to say, no, you can't do that. You can't, you can't just, you can't just, that would be like prepaying the rent. Like if you're going to prepay the rent on your office building for the next 10 years, and I paid it today, and I got to deduct the whole thing today because I paid it today. Well, you can't really do that because you're, you didn't use the office building. So now the IRS is gonna have to kind of limit that from happening and say, well, you can't, you can't do this whole prepayment thing to try to distort and take the deduction earlier than you otherwise would. All right, use Schedule A to deduct qualified home mortgage interest and investment interest. So we'll talk, a little bit more specifically on some of those categories in a future presentation.